Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying an exponential expression. We have 5 to the power ln ln 5 divided by ln 5. And we're going to try to simplify this expression as much as possible. Let's see how we can solve this problem in more than one way. But let me make one thing clear first. Ln is used for natural logarithm, not for any other base. Unfortunately, Wolfram Alpha Sam, and some other textbooks use log for base e, but that's actually not what I'm using it for. Okay, when I write log x, oops, didn't mean to do that. When I write something like log x, I mean log x with base 10. When I write ln x, it is log x with base e. e is Euler's number, which is about 2.7. Okay, so let me make that clear first so there's no misunderstanding because when I write it as ln, some people say lg is written for base 10, but I don't think that's standard. Maybe in Russia and neighboring regions, but I don't think it's international. Anyways, so let's go ahead and see how we can simplify this expression in more than one way. And let's start with the first method. So for my first method, I'd like to go ahead and focus on the exponent first. We have ln, ln5 over ln5. So it's kind of like a quotient of ln. In other words, if you call this b and if you call that a, it ln b over ln a. And what is that equal to? Good question. There's something called change of base. Change of base says if you have log b with base a, you can write it like this where b goes on top and a goes here. Make sense? And this doesn't have to be ln. It could also be log, just like base 10, or it could be any base x you wish for, okay? So we're gonna be using change of base, but backwards. What is a, what is b? Let's find out. Here, this expression turns into log b, which is, of course, I'm gonna use, uh, just the base whatever it is, right? This will be the base 5. Base 5 because this it's going to come from here. So it's going to be log with base 5 of what? ln 5, right? Okay, this is not super meaningful because we still got a complicated expression. But you got to remember, we had 5 to the power ln ln 5 over ln 5. And now we know what the exponent is. So we can go ahead and replace that with 5 to the power uh, log ln5 with base 5. Good. Now, what do you do with that? Well, here's the scenario that we have. a to the power log with base a of b. Do you know that this is equal to b? But wait a minute. How? Let's go ahead and find out. I'm going to go ahead and set this equal to x and then log both sides with base a and then find out what x is. So my goal is to, what is x, right? Because x is gonna give me something like this. Let's find out. We're gonna move this to the front. It's gonna be log b multiplied by log a, both in base a, and then that's equal to log x with base a. Now notice that log a with base a is one because they are the same. Think about it this way, a to the power what equals a, the answer is one. So we don't need to worry about it. And now we get an equality. Log b equals log x or log x equals log b, which means x equals b, which means this is equal to b, which verifies the formula or the identity, whatever you want to call that, right? So that's really nice because this now turns into, in other words, these fives, they're both bases, by the way, cancel out, leaving us with ln5. So this expression is ln5 at the end, a lot of simplifications, but wait a minute, couldn't it be simpler? Yes. If you wrote this as e to the power 5 to the power ln ln5 over ln5, that will be e to the power ln5, which is equal to 5. But that's not the case. Maybe we can do that problem in a separate video. But this is ln5, and this is the first method. Let's go ahead and see if there's an alternative method to this. For my second approach, I'm going to go ahead and actually give you two sub approaches. So we can call them 2a and 2b. You probably know the reason. But one of them is going to look like this. 5 to the power 1 over ln 5 
to the power ln ln5. Again, this looks complicated, a lot of fives, a lot of logarithms, but we can simplify the inside first. So here the base is what? Who knows, right? 1 over ln5 can actually be simplified because we can write it as log 5 with base e, and that is log e with base 5. Why? Because we have a property that says if you have log a with base b, it becomes log b with base a. Make sense? So this gives us log e with base 5, and then we're going to go ahead and raise it to the, another power, right? It's just the ln5 though, so we kind of need to, actually that was wrong, not the whole thing, right? Just this part. Okay, so 5 to the power 1 over ln5 to the power ln ln5 can then be written as this part is going to be 5 to the power log e with base 5 and then raise it to the power ln ln5. See how this simplifies now. These 5s are going to cancel out again for the same reason. We're going to end up with e. e to the power ln ln5 is ln5 because e to the power ln x is equal to x, as you should know. This is a super duper important identity. So we got ln5 one more time. This was 2a, remember? So now we're going to talk about 2b or not 2b. That's why I had to split up the second method. Okay, so here's how the second method 2b branch b works. We're going to go ahead and set it equal to an, a variable. I'm going to use substitution. So let's go ahead and call it y because we already used x. Now, after setting it equal to y, I want to natural log both sides. And this becomes an exponent. You can bring it down ln ln5 over ln5 times ln5 equals ln y. ln5 cancels out and we end up with ln y equals ln ln5. Since the lns are equal, either you can do e to the power both sides, or just think about it, this needs to be y. And you're like, why? <laughs> okay, don't ask why, but y equals ln5. And what is y? It is 5 to the power ln ln5 over ln5. So that's what we were trying to simplify and we got the answer. Make sense? I hope it does. If not, ask questions. And if you have any suggestions, <laughs> if you have any suggestions, let us know in the comment section down below. Let's go ahead and check the results from Wolfram Alpha and we're going to finish with that. Okay? So Wolfram Alpha gives us, unfortunately, like I said earlier, it says log 5, but it means ln5, the natural log. Unfortunately, we're from a bad job. And notice that the decimal approximation is about 1.609437912434. You get the idea. And if you notice that this is actually pretty close to the golden ratio, right? Maybe in another video, we can compare those two numbers. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.